What's up guys, this is Christian Duke and you're watching ThisWeekInBodybuilding.com All right, guys, we're back for another great edition of This Week on Bodybuilding.com, brought to you courtesy of TitanMedicalCenter.com for all your TRT, anti-aging, medical weight loss, and so much more. We've got a great show for you, and we're going to start out with Coach Greg calling out Sly Stallone for some fake weights, guys. If you have not watched the video, head on over to Coach Greg's video. It's got one million views. And what we're talking about is just this really weird video where Sly is holding two 45-pound plates, and he gets up off of his knees, and he's, like, holding these things like they're feathers. Now, Coach Greg makes a great point. You know, Sly's like in his 70s, Coach Greg is like in his 40s, and he's an IFB pro, he's an avid weightlifter, while Sly, you know, who knows how often he trains, I mean, he's jacked, I mean, the guy is jacked, you gotta give him that, but again, 45 pound plates is it's a lot of weight to pick up off of your knees, no less, and so Greg, you know, he breaks down the, the, the dynamics of it all, he talks about the center of gravity, he talks about how gravity is going to push you forward, but while you watch the video with Sly, it's like, it, it looks like some good acting. And I don't see the veins in his arms popping out. I don't, you know, it, it, it just seems a little weird. And so Greg tries it out with 45-pound plates, cannot do it. Tries it with 35-pound plates, cannot do it. Tries with 25-pound plates and barely can do it. He actually bets Sly Stallone. He bets some money. He says, hey, I bet you can't do this with 25-pound plates. Now, again... Um, when you see the video with Sly, and I'm not going to post it here because who knows, like, maybe his people will get it pulled. Maybe they'll even get it pulled from Greg's channel. I don't know. I don't mess with Sly Stallone like that. I'm not going to use his copyrighted content. But when he's dropping the weights, I mean, it just, like, flips out right there, which is perfect. Because if it didn't, if it flipped out just, like, you know, half a second longer, we would have heard the plates hit the ground. I don't care if it's grass ground carpet, ground, whatever ground it is, you drop two 45-pound plates, it's going to make some kind of noise, right? But it clipped right right before it hit. So, um, you know, back in the Brad Castleberry days, we could hear the fake weights, and it's got like this weird, like, bell ringing sound, you know? But with Sly, you don't even hear when the plates hit the ground because they cut out precisely the second before impact. So we don't even, like, audibly know if they're fake or not, but it just... It doesn't seem real, guys. It just does not seem real. So, again, you be the judge. Go to Sly Stallone's video. Check it out for yourself. Go to uh, Coach Craig's video. Check it out for yourself. I I'm siding with Coach Craig on this one, guys. Again, it just looks like if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, chances are it's a duck. So, Sly, I'm sorry to call you out on this, my man, but I don't believe you. All right, guys, and we're back. Titan Medical Center presents This Week in Bodybuilding.com, a sighting, Phil Heath sighting at uh, Dylan Armbrust Mile High Gym in Denver, Colorado at 1 a.m. training. We know that the gift is not getting ready for any particular shows, but he's still holding on to a lot of muscle mass. He is very, very dialed in. Maybe he'll go the Kai Green route and do movies, maybe a series like Stranger Things. Who knows? Uh, with Danny Garcia in his corner, The Rock in close proximity, Really, the sky's the limit for the gift, and so we might see him on stage one day. We might not. We might see him on the silver screen. We might see him on commercials. You know, he's got a college background, uh, an interest in real estate, like Jay Cutler. So, really, the sky's the limit, but uh, very, very cool that he actually put it out. It wasn't outed. It wasn't like somebody saw him and just, like, took their phone out. Phil wants us to know that he's training, that he's in shape, and uh, who knows? But whatever he does, I know he'll be successful. And we're back, guys, this week on bodybuilding.com. Big Lenny and the beer bottle, guys. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the video. I saw it on Arx Muscle. It looked pretty fake. I mean, I don't know if it looked as fake as Sly Stallone, you know, picking up the 45-pound plates and, you know, uh, in anguish. But it looked pretty fake. I mean, he just picks up a random bottle and just, like, hits it on his head. And it looked like the bottle was plastic. And, um, you know, on Arx Muscle, I think Valentino was asking, well, where's the blood at, you know? And... Romano was like, I hit a guy with a bottle once and there was no blood. I don't know what he said, but um, I don't know. I, I think that the misfits are pretty nuts, but I hope to God that they wouldn't actually pick up a bottle off the ground and smash it on their head just for some hits. But then again, we are talking about the Delray Misfits. Nothing but love, guys, but you're a little crazy.
All right, guys, in other news, really Winkler, uh, most recent physique update, no shock, tight midsection, you know, really, really bringing up his physique even more than he already has, a former people's champion, uh, one of the people that I really thought would have been Mr. Olympia by this point, or at least top two. Last year, him and William the Conqueror Bonac totally ignored with the whole four Mr. Olympia sort of marketing gimmick they were running with, but uh, then also got COVID and was prevented from getting on stage at all. And a lot of people said last year's Ruli Winkler would have been a Ruli that would have been right up there with Big Rami, maybe even knocking Brandon Curry and the Persian Wolf Heidi Chupin out of the top three. Who knows? We're speculating at this point, but you know his physique is doing the talking. His midsection is super tight. For the amount of mass that he has to have a midsection that tight is super impressive. Some people are thinking he's going to do Puerto Rico, which is really the Bahamas. Other people are thinking he might do Chicago. Some people are thinking he might do Tampa. He's going to do a show. He's going to qualify. He's going to do the 2021 Mr. Olympia. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And I think a lot of the pundits that have been sort of like ignoring really are in for a rude awakening because this guy is nowhere near done and this guy is dangerous. This guy could stand up next to Big Rami. He's a hybrid bodybuilder. He brings in the condition and the symmetry, but he also packs on the size. He can stand next to a Big Rami and not get dwarfed, but he can also stand alongside guys like Brandon Curry and still present that aesthetic physique. So really very, very dangerous in any show that he gets into. What show is he prepping for? If I had to say, I probably would say Tampa. I don't think he's going to do the Puerto Rico show in the Bahamas, and I don't think he's going to do Chicago, but you never know. And that's the beauty of bodybuilding. You never know. All right, guys. Now, I know that a lot of people have been DMing me about Chuck E. Cheese Deal Chance, and I have reached out to him. I've done interviews with him at the Ruby which is a show that everybody knows him for. We took that historic third place. It really should have been second. Uh, that's a show where he ink with Blackstone Labs. And uh, we did interviews at the Arnold Classic. We've done interviews on IG Live. So I know a lot of people want to hear what Dale Chuck E. Cheese Chance is up to. I've reached out to him. He's extremely busy, as he often is. But we're going to try to work out some schedule where we can both do an interview together because I know you guys want to hear the man, the myth, the legend speak. Dale, Chuck E. Cheese Chance, will be on Strengthetics very, very near future, so stay tuned for that. In other news, John De La Rosa joins forces with Chad Nichols. Now, I know a lot of people out there have kind of like mixed opinions on Chad, but look, guys, the reality of the matter is, without Chad Nichols, there would be no GOAT Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie has even said so. Without Chad Nichols, it's arguable if Big Ronnie would have won the Mr. Olympia. I mean, he tried with Chris Aceto. He tried with the Camel Crew. He even tried with Neil Hill, even though they never even made it to a single show together. Chad has, you know, really done what no other coach has been able to do. And so him working with John, who's an extremely humble guy and who I think has got a great physique, on the Ryan Line Report at Muscular Development, be sure to check that out. Ron does a fantastic job. John was very candid. And I think that is partly because of just Ron's professionalism, because the athletes trust Ron, they like Ron, they open up to Ron. And uh, John is just a really humble guy. And he even talked about what Chad had done with Victor Martinez in 2007, which a lot of people, including the GOAT Ronnie Coleman, think he beat Jake Hutler. So it was one of the closest Mr. Olympias. It was a Mr. Olympia that really goes down in history for the controversy of it all, much like you know, really, honestly, much like 1997, I mean, it was that close. It was even closer than 2001. It was that close. People draw a lot of parallels between 2007 and 1997. And, uh, you know, the fact is, Chad was also behind that as well. So I think, you know, but, but what I find to be very, very telling about John is that he says his physique is nowhere near that level, which I think it is. But I just think that goes back to his humility. And I think that's a really, really important thing in bodybuilding because when you're at John's level, the last thing a lot of people expect you to be is humble. So I think between that humility and the fact that he is cognizant to the fact that he's got a lot going on in his life with his gym, that Chad's got a lot going on in his life, especially with Big Rami and other athletes, I think that, you know, they have realistic expectations. They're not, it's not a race, it's a marathon. I expect big things from this collaboration, so stay tuned for more. And that'll do it for this week's edition of This Week in Bodybuilding, presented by TitanMedicalCenter.com, your go-to source for all your anti-aging, TRT, and so much more. Till the next week, this is Christian Duke, signing out.